Let's give another standing ovation for a young man sitting behind you that you have no idea who's an audience. Michael Jackson, Rose Michael Jackson. <laughs> Why wasn't he in We Are the World? What's the real story there? What happened? Everybody was in that except for him, right? I I know. And believe me, it's one of my heartbreaks of the whole thing. Well, he was at Carlos and Charlie's. True story. And and I kept calling. I was not going to let it go. And I said, let me try one more time. Prince, we need you down here. He says, can I have a separate room to record in? Because you know Prince. Yeah. And I said, "That's not how it was." I can't give you a separate room. And then I made the worst mistake. I said, listen, I'll put you right next to Michael. Oh. And he didn't want to be next to Michael? Done. Oh. Done. So, no, I said, uh, Prince, are you there? He said, I'll do a guitar solo. Oh, really? And then that was... Prince. Why do you think he didn't want to be next to Michael? Well, he didn't want to be next to any of us. It's I the see. truth of the matter. Because, no, you know, Prince was the isolationist. You know, yeah, he was like, right. I'm going to be in my cubicle, so we didn't work like that. Uh-huh. We yeah. had everyone to stand next to each other. There's Paul Simon, there's Bob Dylan. Yeah, so we, check your ego at the your door, ego right? Back street somewhere, you know. So you can't just say, I'm going to let it happen. So I said, all right, I'll call you later. And you never Click. called that back? That was the end of it. That's, really? Yeah, it was happening right there. And then Latoya got his spot, right? <laughs> all these prints I'm sorry that, that's, well, that's the guy you used to be mm-hmm. this is the story of you turning down bad well <laughs> you know that Wesley Snipes character right. th- that would have been me <laughs> <laughs> all right now you, <laughs> now you run that video in your mind the first line of that song is your butt is mine now I said who gonna sing that to whom because you sure ain't singing it to me and I sure ain't singing it to you so <laughs> Right there, we got, you know, right there, we got a problem. Bubbles in my trailer? Yes, sir. What is he wearing? He's wearing a Prince t-shirt and red sneakers. Prince t-shirt, Prince t-shirt. Hypothetically, you would win in a fist fight if you were Michael Jackson. You're both roughly, you know, the same size, you know, you have the both have the high pitched sound, you know. What do you write right hooks like? Oh my goodness. He's a plant, y'all. <laughs> but I plant him. You know, keep it light, keep it light. How about this? Michael's not a fighter, he's a lover. <laughs> Can I, can I just say something? I've never really uh, spoke publicly about Michael. We should all just kind of like chill because it's 
you know, he may know something none of us really know. And just like, well, let's wait and see. Let's wait it out. You know, let's just wait it out. You never know, right? You just never know. Ultimately, we all got to come back home. So let's just, just make a home for everybody. Will was not only friends with Michael, he was also good friends with Prince and shared how he got the two rivals together while both the Black Eyed Peas and Prince were performing in Vegas. I invited him to a Black Eyed Peas show, but he couldn't make it because he was with the kids, putting the kids to sleep. I'm like, he said, uh, what time do you go on? I said, oh, Black Eyed Peas, we go on at 9. He said, oh, Rats, I got to put the kids to sleep. I don't know if I can maybe make that show. I was like, oh, well, you know, I'm playing with Prince later on. I'll be jamming with him, like, around 12. Make a long story short, Prince is performing, walks off the stage, through the crowd with the bass, people screaming and pulling and tugging on him. He's playing the bass through the crowd, makes his way over to where me, Chris Tucker, and Michael Jackson were sitting and rips the bass in half. Just like <laughs> ripping the, the most the killerest solo in the world. And so after the show, I, I had breakfast at Michael Jackson's house, knocked on the door, he opens the door. First thing he says was, why was Prince playing the bass in my face? <laughs> I'm like, oh no, he was, he just really wanted to say hello. I, th I, th I think that's what fixed what he was trying to do. But to bring those two together like that was, um, was magic. I remember one night me and Michael went to see Prince in Vegas. That was crazy. I couldn't believe this shit. I was with the king going to see the Prince. That was some crazy shit. I'm serious. I'm with Michael. We sitting there, you know, and everything was cool, but Prince didn't say, you know, that Michael was there. So I was like, was concerned. I said, Michael, he didn't even say you here. She, you know, I was trying to start something. <laughs> Michael, Chris, stop it, Chris. He probably just don't want to bring any attention on me. That's all. I said, well, you, you should say something. Chris, stop it. You shut up and listen to the show. Hey, Michael, you tell me to shut up. I don't care about no king of pop. I pop your ass in the mouth. Chris, I didn't mean it like that. Just be quiet. Prince was there, Prince was, and Prince got a little attitude, because I think he saw us, he saw Michael, and he was like, he didn't say nothing, he just was looking like. <laughs> he was like, what the hell are you doing here? He looked like, what the hell are you doing here? All of a sudden, Prince came over to Michael like that. He bent down, what are you doing here? Steal my moves, huh? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's some shit going on. Maybe something happened in the 80s I don't know about. I was like, Chris, stop it. He did not say that. <laughs>